the Bible tells us that from the beginning, God has been understood as a parent, as a father, nearly all the time in the Old Testament, although there are times when God is described as a mother there too. And then Jesus always pointed to his father. He never claimed much for himself. It was his father he came to reveal. So that is the important point that we need to hold on to. God is a loving mother and father. And how do we show that we recognize that love? Well, we talk to our parents, I hope, when we could. And I hope our children talk to us when they can. I know it's been very, very difficult in recent months. So communication, relationship, and it's up to each side to do it, isn't it? And in terms of relationship with God, we call it that communication prayer. So let's pray. And we normally start with the prayer of the church for this week. So let me pray. Eternal God, give us insight to discern your will for us, to give up what harms us and to seek the perfection we are promised in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We also, dear God, give thanks to you for our mothers, whoever it was, wherever they are. Well, they're probably almost certainly in your care now. And we thank you also for our children and ask your blessing on them, wherever they are, whatever their needs. We thank you for this bond of parent-child and pray that you will continue to fill it with your love as our heavenly parent. We pray too for all whom we meet from day to day, all who help us in all sorts of ways as parents used to and now we look to others we pray for those who run our country for those who serve us in bringing supplies and post and all sorts of other things We pray for doctors and nurses and carers. We pray for the world, for children separated from their parents, for broken homes, and especially today, we pray for those whom we've loved who have died, giving thanks that they are now in your eternal care. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, who remembered his mother from the cross. Amen. And we pray the prayer, if we like, which Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We pray, we trust God, we hope, and so we should. God is close to us, even in us. His love flows in our veins. Mary knew that for herself and for her baby. Here's a lovely hymn that is a setting of Mary's very famous song, the what we call the Magnificat. Yet the hymn is, Tell out my soul the glories of the Lord. 